Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder here with a review request from Serrano05 for the MMPR Morpher and Gun set. Um, let's go ahead and get started and then I'll just have a few quick updates at the end. So I do not have the box, well I mean I do have the box but it's in storage and I'm not 100% sure where it is but I have all that I got with it. Um, let's go over ahead and, and go ahead and, okay, let's, let me talk first normally. Um, let's go ahead and go over the gun first. So here is the gun that it comes with. Um, it looks pretty nice and it's actually a really good size compared to um, later weapons which are a lot smaller and it fits pretty nice in your hands. actually pretty well for an adult. Um, or it fits pretty well in your hand for an adult. Um, as been mentioned for years and years, it's not screen accurate. It's supposed to be white here and not black but I really don't care all that much. Other than that, the details and the paint are on it are pretty good. It's mainly red and black. Um, you got the chrome spikes here. Mine are a little scuffed up from storage. But um, yeah, there's chrome spikes in here. Um, nice red and black detailings in here. There's another uh, chrome detailings in here. Power Rangers sticker, which is obviously exclusive to Power Rangers and not Z Ranger. Um, then there's some more chrome in here. A gold sticker for his eye. Um, chrome here also. Um, the other side is pretty much exactly the same. Um, this thing does come with some sounds. You put the batteries in here. Uh, it requires a default battery, which I did not have, so I had to go out and get it. Um, so there's a trigger here painted black. So just push it and activate the sounds by holding it, and the LED shall light up here. So standard original toy annoying noises. Um, let me turn the light off for a sec, just to get a little darkness. Okay, so yeah, that's about it for the noises. You can do it in bursts, try to play the Imperial March. Whatever, it wasn't very good, but uh, I can do it better with some other things. Anyway, so to transform it, all you're going to want to do is pull this out and then fold this. There's no mechanism to stop it. Uh, these will form together like teeth, and then just pull out the sword here to get dagger mode which is once again surprisingly uh, a decent size. I don't believe there's anything to get this to push in unless there is and I'm just stupid but otherwise yeah it's a pretty nice size and it doesn't look bad so uh, not a bad weapon. So um, so let's say so a lot. Let's do that. Um, so here's the Morpher. It obviously comes with five coins as I'll show in a second. Um, it's cast in mainly a silver. Um, there's stickers that come with it. Mine came off a little bit when I got it. Uh, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers around here which isn't exactly screen accurate but there's not a whole lot to say about the morpher itself. Here's the back. This thing out here, you pull it out to hold it like a buckle. Um, the button to open it is red. Um, I believe in Zio Ranger, there's a sticker back here. I actually know this is Z for Zio. I don't know if they had the in the American version. I just didn't get it. I don't really remember. Um, what else? I was just going to say something. Oh, obviously, here's the coin. Um, I don't have batteries in this one. I'm going to show the electronics in my other morpher that I have, which I'll show in a minute. Um, just because I didn't feel like putting batteries in this, I'm sorry, but I had batteries in the other one, so I figured why not. Um, so here's the uh, Toronto coin. They're plastic coins, but they're done uh, in a really nice sculpt, and it's really shiny, so it looks nice. Um, just to show you what it's like, when you push this, um, it opens up like this to reveal this red paneling here, which is going to be the lights. And to get the coins out, you just twist it, um, turn it out, to pull it out, and then don't be an idiot. There we go. Wait. Yeah, here we go. So uh, you'll see that there's two little holes here and these pegs, and then you just put it in here and slide it in. I'm just going to keep Toronto in there. Close it up. Let me show you. You get all five main coins. You get Triceratops. Let me turn this off because it's glaring. Uh, Triceratops right here. Um, so you can see it's plastic. Nice uh, detailings on it. It looks really good and authentic. Uh, Pterodactyl, Sabertooth Tiger, and Mastodon. So they all look very nice, nice detailings in them, uh, very cool. Um, so what I'm going to show the sounds for is this, which is a custom gold morpher. Uh, let me just show the sounds very quickly and then I'll explain. Um, yep, yeah, that's all it does. Uh, standard annoying sounds, just four LEDs around here. Now this is not a uh, dragon buckler. Um, they did make a dragon buckler in Japan for G Ranger. Uh, which was sold uh, already painted in gold. This is a custom. Uh, I don't remember who I got it from. I got it quite a while ago. Now, um, because I'm an idiot with this, uh, I don't know which one is bass backwards. Uh, this one or this one. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this because they, you know, do that twisting thing when they morph. I don't know which one's bass backwards. So feel free to comment whichever one is uh, the right way um, in terms of pulling out. I don't really care either way. 
So, um, the story behind this is, I was sort of looking for a dragon buckler, um, or a custom one that was good, and I stumbled upon a set that was $100, which was a pricey, but it came with this, uh, this custom dragon coin, a custom tiger coin, uh, a set of replica Zeo Ranger coins, which are on a shelf, um, all five, uh, Thunder Bikes with the Rangers, um, two custom, uh, metallic pink and uh, yellow rangers from the movie that are custom painted to um, be regular colors and a custom green ranger flippable that has his shield uh, custom painted the correct colors so I figured since I really did want this and I would probably be spending quite a lot on it anyway I might as well get all that extra stuff that I didn't mind getting so a bit pricey but the, whoever did this I can't remember they did a really great job uh, there's a little bit fading in here you can see the silver but other than that it's a really seamless paint with the gold and the stickers are right and they got the correct stickers on here um, once again, let's open it up, and uh, here's the custom gold coin, which isn't as shiny as the others, but it's still nice. Um, it's, um, it's a, yeah, it's a coin. So yeah, but let's get back onto the main set once I get this in. Um, so overall, the Morpher and uh, Gun set is more of a nostalgia thing. If you look at it on a toy standpoint, compared to you know later releases, it's pretty minimal. Um, in detailings and in uh, features, I mean, but that's what to expect. The coins look nice, but um, I can still recommend it if you're an MMPR fan. Um, regrettably, I paid about $100, I think it was like 95 bucks for the set, um, relatively new. I just got tired of looking for it, and I was lucky enough to find a buy, and now 95 bucks. So I spent approximately 50 bucks on the gun, 50 bucks on the morpher. It kind of makes me feel better about it than just $100 on a morpher that's relatively crappy if you think about it. But for nostalgia-wise, if you're a classic MMPR fan and you want to have something for it, um, I, I recommend it because the coins do look good and it looks really great on the shelf. There's just not a whole lot of toy uh, lights and sounds features and like later morphers, but it still it looks nice on the shelf, so I can recommend it for that reason. Um, maybe a couple months ago, I would have said hold out to see if uh, Bandai of America is going to release a, a American version down the line. But since they're going to be adapting a new PR next year. Um, I would say the chances are unlikely since the MMPR line will be coming to an end this fall if it's not already technically at an end. So overall, um, I'd recommend the Morpher and the Gun set. If you like the gun, go ahead and get it if you can find a good deal as a set. But there's quite a few Morphers just on their own online. You can probably find a deal. So the gun is just kind of a plus. I'd recommend the Morpher more so than the gun. So um, just a quick uh, little sentence here at the end about uh, reviews. Um, I will be trying to get as many requests out as I can now before the May releases hit me. Um, I should hopefully be able to get at least four or five done, but then the May releases are going to be hitting me pretty soon, so bear with me. There's a lot of new stuff to cover. Some new figure arts, uh, trial memory, Dopont memory, uh, the new uh, Gossipon die, uh, die, guy memory, so just please bear with me. I appreciate all your requests, and I'm trying to get uh, back to your PM as soon as possible. So um, that's about it for this review. Thank you to Cernovo05, uh, I forgot your name already, I'm sorry, for this request. So until next time, uh, check out the DawsonRider.wordpress.com and my new podcast with Shuku and Shinobi and Jedi Mon, which is uh, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. And last thing I want to say is um, about the uh, blog. I usually do written reviews for all my stuff, but uh, I'm only going to be doing written reviews for my new stuff for right now since there's so many requests to fill. So I've um, um, talked long enough, so it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.